Opus 54 quartets and the Opus 55 quartets were the first of 12 quartets that Haydn wrote for Johannes Toast. And he must have been a, a remarkable violinist because Opus 55s and Opus 64s are probably what gave the reputation that the first violin is rather important. I suppose the fact that he was such a virtuoso um, is what inspired Haydn. In fact, he played jokes on toasts, asking him to play movements on one, one string. The cello part has this, uh, which is, in a way, uh, one might sort of say, well, it's not such an interesting part. But in fact, it, for, for me, it poses one of the greatest problems in quartet playing, how to actually fit such a um, continuous line of quavers. So you have to keep all the juggling balls in the air at the same time that the, um, it is fitting, yet it is still, um, to some extent, driving, and uh, the um, momentum. It's, it's, a, it's a huge problem. Second um, movement, and what Haydn does is he starts off with a very um, poignant movement and shows that he's going to paradise. And when he gets to paradise, he's dancing. You don't expect that in music of this sort. beginning of the second half of the minuet suddenly goes into some kind of mock driven um, fury but the feeling is that it's more of a childlike game than anything absolutely dead serious. <laughs> I think one of the characteristics that people associate with string quartets, apart from those people who've never heard them who think they're boring, is that it's very intimate music to be played in a small room. But actually, Haydn uses music that's from outdoors. I call it sort of earthy music. It's as though people have got clogs with earth um, stuck to their boots. If we play a little bit of the last movement, So it isn't exactly music that you expect uh, while you're um, sipping a cup of tea and a thin cucumber sandwich. 